If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an extra supply of test strips and lances. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, as you can see, we have Carla Esparza joining us right now. She is part of something very special in the Middle East right now, along with Alex Hernandez, Vince Pichel, Louis Smolka, and Shane Crutch, and she's part of the Fighters for Freedom Tour in collaboration with Armed Forces Entertainment. I love this stuff. I think this is amazing, and it's equally as amazing that Carla is checking in with us right now. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Just hanging out here with my... <laughs> so when did that all start uh i can't do that that noise that you just did by the way but when did that all this is that something that happened on the um, way over there it started about 10 minutes ago we were just signing talking about hey bro and out of nowhere just, bro, bro, just all started simultaneously acting like pigeons oh man so you guys are gonna be doing this for another two weeks it looks like over and over again this is gonna be a fun couple of weeks for you guys uh, you know, every every day it's just new inside jokes, so there you go. <laughs> never know what's gonna come up. Well, I'm very happy to have you on the show for a conversation, especially for this reason. I know we can't talk exactly about where you're at right now, like coordinates wise, but before we get into exactly what you guys are doing over there, talk about how this all came together and how you got involved in this tour. Um no, I'm super excited to be on this tour. Um uh, started connecting with Amanda, who's like uh, running the tour with the fighters out here. She's come out a bunch of times, like over the years. She served in the military, so um, this is my second tour. Uh, I did one in Europe, but it's my first time out here. Like I feel like I'm like kind of like somewhat like more in the trenches. Like it's um definitely like not as much around here. It's a very different culture. So yeah, it's very interesting being out here and with the troops and uh, seeing everything that they have to go through and live through out here. It's been really cool. Because I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe, because I know you're really close with Ashley Evans Smith, I believe she did a, a similar tour to this one. Did you talk to her about it ahead of you heading out here? Yeah, actually, um, she, she did one out here as well. So I kind of was like, give me tips, tell me, tell me this, tell me that. But, um, you know, it's just a lot of it depends on what, like, the time of year you go and, you know, like, what, you know, what base you're at. So you kind of get to get some new every time. So, um, you know, you just kind of have to be ready for anything just like in a fight. <laughs> there you go. Of course, you know, the, the soldiers you're going to see, they're away from home, they're away from their families and their loved ones, and the holiday season is here with Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday. So I'd imagine this is a more difficult time for them than it usually is. What does it mean to you to kind of make this time a little bit more cheery, put some extra smiles on the faces of those brave men and women, especially during the holidays? Uh, that is super amazing for me personally. Uh, just being out here, you know, obviously I only have to be away from my, like, friends, family, home, everything for, like, a couple weeks but you know these people are out here for like months at a time some years you know so it's just um you know really good to be out here like you know i'm just away from thanksgiving for like you know for like one but they're you know just out here thanksgiving christmas so it's really cool to kind of be able to come out here and give them a little bit of like fun and you know we're appreciating what they do they're kind of appreciating what we do so it's just uh yeah it's a really good feeling when did you all take off from the States to begin this tour? And also talk about what you and all the fighters have been doing thus far since you've gotten there. Um, you know, some stuff is confidential, but uh, we flew out uh, September 21st and uh, we're here for a couple of weeks. Oh, I mean, I mean, November. no, November. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, that was my fight day. You know, <laughs> some big event happened that day. Um, but yeah, I know uh, we've been out here um, for a couple of days. This is our third base and um yeah everything's been like a little bit different and uh you know we've been grappling a lot with uh, all the troops like every day we've come and just kind of get you know like had the opportunity to just kind of grapple with everyone and they show us what they got kind of and it's uh it's been really fun you know because i think it's kind of cool like just getting to grapple with like ufc fighter because it's not something a lot of people like just get to you know experience on the daily and um you know and Oh, yeah, the, the dogs chased us, so we, like, put on these, like, big suits, and they're, like, really thick, so it's, like, hard to run, so you're over there, like, oh, like, trying to run, <laughs> and this dog just sprint at you, boom, like, takes you down, like, that dog has a better takedown than I do, for sure, um, and these dogs are just biting on your arm, or one of the guys got bitten in the butt, like, <laughs> you know, these dogs are, you know, they're they're trained, they're, they're super fast, and they know what they're doing, so, um, 
yeah, it's a really fun experience. Uh, what did we get to do on the first day? Oh, yeah, we got to um, do, like, uh, shoot guns um, at, like, a screen. So it was, like, kind of air rifles, like, simulation. But it was cool. It almost felt like playing a video game. But I can imagine, like, doing that in, like, real life when it's, like, everything's on the line kind of, you know. So, um, yeah, just getting a little bit, a little taste of um, of the life out here. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been fun so far. How good of a shot are you? Well, you know, not going to brag, but uh, on the on the last round we did, you know, I got like I was number two. And we have a one of our guys out here, Shane, uh, was in the military. So, you know, he beat me. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I feel like pretty good. But I did shoot more ammo than everybody else. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> have you been have you been impressed with the the grappling abilities of the soldiers that you've been able to roll with so far? Yeah, you know, like a lot of the, it's really cool. A lot of people out here, um, they're in the, they have jujitsu clubs out here and MMA clubs. So a lot of them actually get to train on a regular basis. And obviously like the combative training, like through the military. So, you know, a lot of them at least have like the basic skills and, you know, obviously they, they're really tough. So it's just uh, been, been cool grappling. I've gotten the opportunity to grapple with a lot of girls, which is cool for me to see, you know, because it is kind of male dominated out here. And, um, you know, you just, uh, mm -hmm. Wait, what's that? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been really cool, honestly, getting some of the girls out here. And I know it can be a very, very timid, ex timid experience for, like, women, you know, and just girls having kind of, like, that courage to come out and give it a try, even if it was, you know, maybe some of them their first time coming out. So, um, you know, and hopefully they can continue grappling, like, you know, just hard sometimes all, all they have. And then there's so many men on base and, you know, it's kind of, like, it's a little bit uh, easier for them to kind of try it to, you know, with another woman. So yeah, it's been really cool. We can keep this super general cause we don't want to give away anything too much here, but uh, of the things that's sort of on the itinerary here, or, you know, maybe something you've taken part in already, what's the thing that you just cannot wait to do or hoping you'll be able to do during this tour? Um, well, we've had like some special requests, um, <laughs> but we've been told like we're not allowed to do, you know, a lot of things, um, you know, like we wanted to climb on a rocket. I wanted to swing from some, <laughs> some <laughs> rebar, but there was a bunch of rocks above. So they told me most likely it wasn't a good idea. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to, I would love to ride a camel. <laughs> um, I would love to see some camel spiders bite. <laughs> um <laughs> uh you know i'd love to like shoot some you know i mean some guns but they they said like each uh, all the ammunition is accounted for so we're not supposed to but we're like hoping like come on come on like sneak us in. <laughs> but you know i don't know if that can happen but you know everything's been just awesome out here so far what do you hope to take away from this when it's all said and done like i know a lot of times uh, fighters that I've talked to that have been on these tours, they get a little bit humbled by the experience. They come home and realize that there are things in their lives that they take for granted. What do you hope to take away from, from this experience when it's all done? Um, honestly, just more of a, an appreciation for what they have to go through out here and, um, you know, what they are doing and giving, you know, like the luxuries and, and the life, you know, like that they're kind of giving up for us. It kind of really makes you appreciate like, you know, what they're doing out here and, you know, it's, I think it's easy to take for granted because it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. Like people are just home and you're just living in la la land and doing your thing. And you forget, like, why do we have all that we have? Because there's people out there protecting us and doing and sacrificing and doing all for us. In terms of what you'll do when you return home, you've been on a, a nice run as of late. You mentioned September 21st. That was the date of your last fight. That barn burner with Alexa Grasso that you were able to get the victory in. Things are going very well for you right now as you head into 2020. What kinds of, of goals have you set for yourself in 2020? Um, You know, as far as, like, who I'm going to fight next, you know, you're always, like, you're always, no matter what, like, I think if you're not doing this to kind of move closer to goal or to, you know, to gold or being, like, the best you can, it's... You know, like, what are you doing it for? So, you know, any any fight, I think, um, in the top 10 or around there is getting you a little bit closer to another shot, you know? And I don't think I've ever, like, been out of the conversation, you know, especially, like, when Rose got the belt. It was, you know, obviously, like, I dominated that fight. So everyone's like, oh, rematch, rematch, you know? And it's just matchups can really be, um, really mix things up. So, you know, you might, you might be able to beat one champ but not another. So it just, like, you know, just trying to get that shot. But... 
you know, honestly, I've always, my whole career, I've never turned down a fight and, um, you know, just been, been game for whoever they put in front of me. I really want to go back to the drawing board and kind of, uh, you know, uh, work on some things and kind of improve, switch up my game. Cause I think it's something that you have to constantly, you have to constantly be involved, evolving in the sport or you're going to get stuck and you're going to be like forgotten. People are going to figure you out. When would you like to return in a, in, in a perfect world, like February, March, a little bit later? Cause I know you want to, you know, hone some skills a little bit. Like you said, you want to go back to the drawing board a little bit. Is there kind of a timetable that you have worked on and when you'd like to fight? Yeah, I had a little bit of time off because, um, like I had like a, my elbow was a little bit jacked up. I was doing physical therapy and then, um, I, I did like this eight freezing process. So I had to take uh, a few weeks off for that. So honestly, um, in a perfect world, I would guess like late February around that time would be a good time. Cause you know, I could jump straight into a camp and just start like the cardio, but like, I, I don't want to go into the fight. My next fight is the same fighter. Like I want to, you know, I want someone to fight me and be like, Oh, she picked up something new. Like I want to throw people off and I want to like, be unexpected and unpredictable. And if they see you riding a camel on Instagram or on social media, that's really going to throw people off. They're not going to know what to do with you. So uh, something to look <laughs> forward to. Cause we certainly, right? <laughs> yeah, I really did like hit pressure, the balance, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, we look, we certainly look forward to seeing those pictures. Hopefully that can happen. We look forward to seeing you back in the octagon. I think it's incredible what you and the other fighters are doing right now, giving back to our brave men and women of the armed forces, rolling around with them, taking their minds off of things for a little bit. So kudos to you and, and kudos to everybody there. And uh, thank you for coming on and doing this and giving us an update on everything. Before we let you go, Carla, let the folks know where they can follow what you're doing here on social media. Any shout outs, anything you want to say to everyone back here in the U.S. and beyond? The floor is yours. MyMMANews.com. Uh, yeah, uh, for my personal life, social media, Carla Esparza1 on Instagram and Twitter on my Facebook, just Carla Esparza. And yeah. Um, yeah, feel free to comment me and like message. I like to like really like respond to the fans and when you guys have cool questions and stuff. And yeah, thank you guys so much for having me on. It's uh and documenting this kind of experience that we're going through because it's a great thing. And I think, you know, like more people should know about it and just kind of like see what we're doing out here and really get an appreciation for, you know, like what's going on out here and, and the troops. Couldn't agree more. Thanks again, Carl. Incredible stuff. Enjoy your time out there and, and safe travels. Thanks so much. Thank <laughs> you.